it's the end of March 2023, and I was thinking of a video idea to do, and today I'm going to do my Mr. Potato Head collection. I have quite a lot of them, to be honest. Ever since I saw Toy Story, I've been trying to get a Toy Story Mr. Potato Head like this one. But we'll get to that on a little bit later, so we're going to have a look at these Mr. Potato Heads. Like, we'll start from the oldest to the newest. So we'll start with this one. This one I got in a charity shop in Sunderland. This is a Toy Story 2, Mr. Potato Head. It says 1999. And he talks. So I think I've gone through them all now, but yeah, the speaker is very quiet. But what I like about this one is it's, it's it's got eyebrows. It's the only Toy Story Mr. Potato Head I have which has eyebrows, which I think is kind of cool. So we'll move on to the next one. This is the Disney Parks one. It didn't come like this. I bought some of the parts myself, but I actually got him at Disneyland Paris. I still have his packaging. There it is there, Disneyland Paris. The only bit I got from Disneyland Paris out of all this was the Mickey hat. I got the Mickey balloon on the eBay, the mustache on eBay. I got the potato head body. Most of these older potato head bodies got from Disneyland Paris, except for the Buzz Lightyear one. That's a 1985 body. So basically, here's a look at the um, Disney Disney Parks Mr. Potato Head. So now we're going to move on to the next one. The next one is the Toy Story Mr. Potato Head. This is a release for Toy Story 3. The Disneyland one was made in 2001. This is a 2009 version. First released under a cloud box, then it became white for Toy Story 3. It's, it's, it's my favourite Mr. Potato Head at the minute. I don't know if I'll ever make a, a custom mod, but still, this looks like a really good one. And it's actually made by Play School. It has another Disney body. I bought these two bodies for Buzz and Woody because um, they all just had one body, and I, and I always wanted to use this Mr. Potato Head. So let's have a look at um, Woody's Tater Rounder. This is like a Mr. Potato Head version of Woody from Toy Story. Same mouth and same eyes has the um, Disneyland one, but has the Toy Story Potato Head's um, nose. Has the ears. Has Woody's hat. Has arms. The belt buckle, the belt, his boots. The, I bet there's a snake in one of them. There's a snake in my boot. There's a sheriff badge, and talking on some of his polstering qu quotes, the polstering ring is down the back. It doesn't actually talk, though. Sadly. Spud Lightyear next. Yeah, I said Spud Lightyear, because that's what he was called. His shoes are repaint of the, the this one. Same face as the um as Woody. His visor can open. I really like this part. It just has the Star Command logo there, though, instead of, like, Space Ranger on the top. And, by the way, these are the Disneyland arms. I just decided to put them on there, because I thought they were the only arms I could find. There's his wings. This is the 1985 body. Um, there's his purple helmet thing. That says 2009 on the dome. So, I think we've seen him. So, next we'll move on to Mrs. Potato Head. This is, again, the Toy Story 3 release. Got her in a charity shop. 
That's her nose there. It's pink. It's just a pink version of the of her noses. Here is her eyes, her mouth. They just used Mrs. Potato Head's face for and shoes for the Jesse Potato Head. Because they made a variant of Jesse. Here's her hat, which I actually modified. I did yellow around the rim, like in the film. It didn't come with a flower, so I made a Play-Doh one. I think it looks a lot better. Here are the ears. That's actually plasticine there. These are Disneyland ears. Well, this one is, and this one's a proper one. But because I lost the original ear a long time ago, I just put plasticine over it. As the regular arms. The body's the same, so I'll just put her hat back on. Next, we'll move on to this Mr. Potato Head. This was my very, very first Mr. Potato Head. This is the redesign from 2013, I think. Yeah, this is seen in like the commercials for Smiths um, and the Crisp Company. Oh, Lay's, yeah, Lay's, yeah, Lay's. I put the arms down there, like in the uh, like for the um. For the um the one used in the Smiths advert. They never normally eat potato snacks. His pants are there. He has a, he has a hole. I I always think that could be an armpit. Holes at the back, his glasses and tongue are in there. That's his hat. Which I think I prefer no wait, no, I prefer that hat. Just for accuracy. So here's Mrs. Potato Head and her redesign. Her eyes look gorgeous. Her nose is pink. New mouth sculpt. She has blue earrings now instead of um, yellow like in Toy Story. She has hair, apparently. It's blonde. There's her arms. Here's the back of her. I've also noticed there's a hole in her hair. Probably so you could put something in her hair, like a bow or something. Next we have this giant Mr. Potato Head, which has a lot of parts inside. Had them since Christmas of 2020, I think. I've just put a moustache on the front, because I think it looks better on him. He looks kind of French with it on, though. Most of the parts are there from Disney, Disneyland Paris. There's a couple of them in the Toy Story 3 pack behind him. But there's quite a lot of parts there. There's parts for Tinkerbell, Mickey, Minnie, Donald, Goofy. It's quite a lot. And over here, here is another potato head. It has Darth Vader parts on it. I just put some of that on just for... Up. That's a tie for Mickey. Them these two white arms came from that potato head. Same with the eyes. This is basically like a Darth Vader version. Oh, there's a red nose and blue arm came from that potato head as well. So I'm just going to put him over there. And finally we have the, um, the singing Mr. Potato Head. His other... Mouth is apparently in him. It's basically a phantom since 2020. He has eyebrows, which is good. He talks and sings, so if you press the purple button, he will sing. And now I'm going to press the talk button, which is yellow. Tater's going to paint, am I right? You know, I've had a lot of half-baked ideas in my time. <laughs> Back on the be quiet. Okay, I'll put your mouth back on. You know, I've had a lot of half-baked ideas in my time. <laughs> Potatoes never tell. So that's my Mr. Potato Head collection. Well, actually, um, he has different ears, this new Potato Head. Different arms. 
the hat is similar to this one, but it's slightly different. So basically, I don't know what else to say. So that's my Mr. Potato Head collection. So don't forget to subscribe. Bye.